Hello, Squirt Squad, and welcome back to another video. Yes, it is. <laughs> you really wouldn't <laughs> think it, but British summer has arrived, and uh, no, conditions are not optimal, hence, we are lying down on the beach here to get out of the terrible wind. Uh, but we are still going to go and have an adventure out in the mud. I'm wearing the old, ye olde wooden mud patterns. I'm in the mud boots, uh, gradually getting less and less fond of the mud boots actually, and more and more fond of our original versions. Yeah, so it's mm. a kind of wooden versus rubber today. Yeah. Um, no, it's not actually, because my mudders split, so I had to return to the wooden patterns. Mm. Um, I really hope this wind stops, Josie, and the sun actually comes out. <laughs> Shall we uh, go find some weird and wonderful things in the mud? Definitely, on a very British adventure. Hello! <laughs> First quick find then. Yes, okay. Uh, Dairy Supply, Museum Street, London. Now, we have found a much smaller one of these before. I'm going to cut that down there. Yep, and reuse it. Beautiful Definitely. pen jar, or maybe. A dairy jar. Oh. Right, we've spotted some more. I'm going in. Go in. Okay. Okay. Whoa, that's a big old squelcher. But what's that? Okay. Brocarnie. Uh, bro this one though is also Brocarnie. Worth an explore. Oh, definitely. That. Oh yeah. Just uh, not too old, but oh, might really? be all resistance. All there. Oh my gosh, I think it's all there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. Look at that. Look at it. Has it has it got a pouring lip as well or something? No. no, I'm imagining it. It's all there. Just a little handle's gone, but oh. that's still great, Dad. That's a lovely find. Not look, something we ordinarily how, get. How cool is this? You can see the drip of the glaze. Oh, yes. Like on my nose today. Correct. Hey, well, that's a good one for your bag. <laughs> yes. And in a convenient smaller carry size. Yeah. It has got some marks on it. Oh, can't yes. Can't see them. They're yeah. covered in mud. I'm trying to wipe it off, but can't see. But some sort of initials. Very windy. And, uh, that's a sick first find. Great. Well done. Woohoo. Nice one. Oh, got to get that in the bag. You got something? Oh. This could be something. Should we go in together, squad? Looks like we've got a bit of a drift of stuff. That's quite clearly smashed. All great worm sign, though. I think this is a good area. What's that? Broken stoneware everywhere. This is the spot to explore. I wonder what could, what whole beauties there's going to be, Dad. <laughs> a scaldron. Uh, it's actually a coconut. Coconuts. There we are. Oh. Well, it looks like we've got some sort of big beer bottle here. Just sat there waiting for me. Ooh, nice, nice sort of drippy lip. Oh, that's a shame. It's not got the label on it, but you can see uh, the little screw inside, which would have taken a vulcanite stopper. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that despite its wonkiness. Just cause we like to collect them when they've got, you know, the name of the brewery or whatever. But that's a plain, what? What's that? No way! Dad's got a belter. What you got, sir? Hey! for you, sir. Look at that. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> oh, look. <gasps> Fields, Whoa. London. That requires a celebratory dance, Dad. It's a good one, isn't it? Yes, it's a good one. And nice and complete and nice and heavy for you. Show me your dance. 
Inky! <laughs> In case! Is it a big pouring lead? Yes, and it's absolutely complete. Absolutely floss. A nice. It's funny, you can't really see much of it at the minute. No, can I you? know. I wouldn't go that close to my nose. <laughs> eyes on, eyes on! Pub flask! <laughs> yes! Beautiful pub flask! Sorry, I got excited, Dad, and I had to steal some some of the glory. Squad, I haven't found one of these in ages. And you never know, when it cleans up, it could have some acid etching on it. Oh, and that would be even more exciting. But a beautiful Victorian pub flask. Clearly, this is where they sort of all strayed out and collected. Something to do with the weight and the tides and stuff. Oh, broken. Whew. Gosh, that was so exciting. It's going to take me a minute to calm down. <laughs> but we haven't been out in the mud for ages. So this is well exciting. You know what? We've been up to lots of digging and stuff. So yeah, happy days. Exciting to be out. Well stoked for dad and his uh, nice big ink as well. That was very nice, very nice. All right, eyes in squad. What we're gonna find next? Okay, squad. Which of you eagle-eyed members can spot the spot the boot eye? Now, I wonder if it's hot. Looks like the shape of a sort of chemistry thing. Ah, oh, shame. It's a plain one though, so at least it's not some beautiful labelled bottle that we never found before. Put that one back. Ugh. Loading up! Where do you go, Mr Fields? <laughs> but I don't want to go in the dark. Ah! No! What? That's gone. Oh no! <laughs> The mud hat. I've got mud on my face. I've got mud on my face. Uh, a little bit. Hmm. Nice hat, mate. Uh, well, thank you. I might put this in my pocket. Okay. What you got then, sir? Well, I don't want to know how old it is. Are you ready? Look. <gasps> it's what not... is that? Well. It looks very crude. Um, no. I don't. <laughs> I just don't know because it's not glazed, which makes me think it's older. But it could just. I don't. I don't know. Oh. I would love it to be Roman, but it doesn't quite look right. The lip at the top here. But look how like uh, lozenge yes. and weird it all is. Yeah. <gasps> Holy poo, Dad! I mean, that could be insane. It you might have be. just found a completely Roman pot. Maybe. Uh, I know, I know. I just don't want to get myself too excited okay. about it. I know what you mean because it feels too good to be true. Yeah. Do you want to like wash it off a tiny bit more? And see if we can like see. If there's any glaze, then we know it's not. It's not glazed. Look, very rough. There's a fingerprint there. And it's got the bits of shell in. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? I don't know. I think we'll, <laughs> we will consult okay, our okay. pottery expert, Richard Hemery, who oh coincidentally two years ago this day. Came out with us in the mud, didn't he? Yes, he oh did. Oh my gosh. What a legend. Insanity. <laughs> Do you want to hold it? It's yours. Yeah. Imagine if it's because just it like Because it could a, be a Roman pot. But it could also just be a teacup or a <laughs> plant pot. <laughs> I'm uh -oh. sinking. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Also, funnily enough, right? What's that doing out here? Oh, it's Makita. <laughs> it's better than my trail, mate. <laughs> Should we um, pop it in my bag and I'll put it in the bin because it shouldn't be out here in the mud. <laughs> Do not want to be drilling any of our finds, Josie. No, especially not that potential Roman pot. Mm. Josie? Deployment. In for the bot. Oh, is it oh. slightly broken? Broken. Would have been a nice sort of imperial Ooh. half pint. Maybe. Oh, would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. What a shame. What a shame. 
Bye bye. But quite like those. Over there, and what is that I spy? Yeah. Something over there as well. Oh, yeah. Yep, Mark. that's a food avoid that. It's funny, isn't it? The actually the steeper the shelf, yep. the more stable the mud. Yep. There you are, spoken like a true geographer that I am. <laughs> Potentially something over there too. Yeah. I heard a shout above the hurricane. interested about them both. First one, do you want to come in? So that there is just an old wine bottle, bit plain, bit boring, not very old, not very exciting. This, look at it! Oh, what a cutie! Beautiful little oh. stoneware! Yay! Super cute. Love them. Little dye pot. Yep. Diagon Alley. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So that's cute. We normally find the big bits out here, so it's cool to find something little. And um, I want to investigate the other one. I think it's like a little, maybe a pouring ink. Okay. Can you see what it's all about? No, I can't. Oh uh, no, it's glass, it's glass. Okay. Tricks of the mud. Screw jar. Mayonnaise jar. More jam jar. Love mayonnaise. It really looked like a pouring ink. Mm. Oh well, what's that? I wonder. Oh, that would have been nice. I think it's the base of like a drinking cup or something, isn't it? Oh, yep. Squad, it's just extraction after extraction today. What you got, boy? Pebble. <gasps> Could it be? <gasps> oh, oh! A broken cream pot. Oh, so nearly there. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, on we go. <laughs> That was close. That was close. <laughs> right squad, there looks like there's something really nice in front of us. But is it whole? beautiful bird on it as well. We found a few broken ones of these before. Do you remember we found one you yeah. cut it? Yeah. yeah look it's another graveyard sector. Oh. What's that say? Bedford and Co. I did something. Pick this up, which I can cut down. It's quite yeah. a nice. It would have been a uh, soda water, cod probably. Yeah that's a good cutty upcycler. Mm. Looks like there's bovril over there as well. It does indeed. Blue for you! Oh, it's quite a nice bottle. It is a nice bottle. Mm. Very oh, vibrant, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, vibrancy. Nice. I will take that. Yeah. Blue thing is some sort of enamel, I think. <laughs> this is quite funny. So Dad's got this here. Now, what is it, Dad, and what does it mean to us? Well, we found this many years ago, actually. I say many years, about two years ago. And we regretted not picking it up at the time. It's this lovely iridescent glaze with this kind of striations along here. Looks like a UFO. It does a bit, doesn't it? It's quite, uh, I don't know. Maybe it was a Christmas decoration or something, or something that somebody's probably shouting at the screen now saying, it's a, but anyway, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Maybe just, I can cut it. I just can't believe it's still here in yeah. like a similar sort of place to where we found it before. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I, yeah, for sure. Cut it and then yeah. we'll, let's do something with It'd be it. Sweet, won't it? A UFO. <laughs> this UFO is my UFO. Unidentified, unidentified Roman object. It could be, or it could be unidentified someone normal object. Learning to do pottery. <laughs> we'll have some fun cleaning it up. Dad spotted something that I nearly stepped on. There we are. Lovely, smoke it. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Shall I show them close up? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Lovely little pipe bowl. Victorian one? Yes. Oh, look. It does have 
the name on there? Hanley? Oh, say Andy. <laughs> well, it says Hanley. It says something on the other side as well. There you go. Nice oh, bike. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Add it to my ever-growing hand collection. <laughs> and uh, much more exploring to be done. Guys, I just found some epic, absolutely epic. Look at that. Lovely. So it, you see the lip is so unique. I like, mean, oh, not yeah. really found one like that before. Do you think it would just have had a big cork in the top or something? I don't really know. But it's old. It's um, we found one similar before, like a util. It's called like a utility or something. And they're what are they? Early 1800s. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is clearly a slightly different species. Um, and if you look on the back, it does like that side is a bit messed up. But if you displayed it that way, I mean, the rest of it's great. It's a pretty bottle, is it? I think they had a, a pontil on the base. Yeah. Maybe ground down one. I'm not sure. But like. What is that? That's sick. Lovely. I wonder what it would have had in it, Josie. Look, look at the angle on the um, yes. on the top of it. That's a rubbery, wonky lip, isn't it? <laughs> Buttery biscuit base. <laughs> I'm just stoked with that. I want to. I want to send that to Jane. I think Jane will have some interesting mm. things to say because I've never found like we've never even I've never even seen a utility sort of looking bottle that has a just a flat round lip like I that. I really thought it was broken. Bizarre. No, I know, but it's not. It's rolled over. <laughs> and. Look, Josie, just behind you, up on the bank there. Here, I'll pass you the camera and you head towards it. Oh, my Magna Carta. Could you hold it? I will. Can I do the honours? Please do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we've been released. We've been released. It looks like a stoneware of ginger variety. Is it a ginger variety? I think it is. Shall we? <laughs> Ginger eggs. <laughs> Got the label on there. It's your find. <laughs> Through that. Do you want to reveal its label? Yes. Just give it a little down. wash. That's sick. It's on the bottom. It's got one. There. Oh yes. Uh, I definitely think One it's a born. One of them dumb bees. Perfect. Perfect. Good condition. Plain, beautiful example. Nice one, Dad. Thanks for honing me in. <laughs> that was great. But not careful. Yeah. <laughs> the world's most careful. Cheers. Ooh. Yuck. Little milk churn. Oh, that's cute. Really cute. Nice crazy. Did you just, did you feel it? where all the sediments come from but oh yeah it's well cute it's nice isn't it yeah no i know it's like a full-on chocolate milk today yeah <laughs> chocolate rain i wonder what what's all in here that we can't see and a ladder for you to get out Oh squad, look what I just found. This is such a heartbreaker. Massive, beautiful seltzer, minus its top and handle. I know. I think we should take it, turn it into a vase. Yeah. It's massive, it's so heavy. <laughs> I just can't get over how orange it is. I suppose it's just been hidden in the mud all the time. Yeah. It retained its colour. German mineral water. It's like a German fire extinguisher, oh, Jesse. I know. Or a, or, a, or a bomb or something. No, make great bars though. Yeah, it would. I can chop that. With chop a beautiful, beautiful eagle, chop its head off. Yeah. Whoa. What's that? Right, Dad's just gone through a gnarly bit of mud. I'm trying to avoid it, avoid the hole. An old uh, tablespoon. Lovely oh, green colour, isn't lovely. it? Lovely. Look at the um, amount of bubbleu. All the bubbles in the glass. Yeah, it was well worth that thing getting my leg. <laughs> and Dad, we're just heading in now, aren't we? We are. Yes. Oh. Whoa. So uh, we hope you enjoyed our muddy excursion, and we'll see you in Mud Pies HQ for the roundup. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
Hello, Squelch Squad, and welcome back to Mud Pies HQ. Um, well, this glorious selection in front of us deserves an explanation. So, the items over here were found after a somebody reached out to us and said that they dug up some amazing things from their front garden. And would we like to come up there and dig? Because they know how much Josie enjoys digging. <laughs> So we travelled a very long way <laughs> in the car and uh, found a few things, a few little beauties, uh, but then we were also given some items as well from the dig. It looked like actually they dug out most of the things already, but we still absolutely destroyed their front lawn. <laughs> and not lawn, sorry, their front garden, didn't we? And um, had a wonderful fun time as well and found some, well, some proper Victorian items over there. Yeah, we've got some absolute belters here. We completely destroyed that garden. We really did. Didn't I we? mean, it was massacred. Yeah, um, it was like we put in pipes all the way across. <laughs> uh, five foot trenches were zigzagging this person's front garden. And I was absolutely exhausted by the end of it. Yeah. We didn't actually film it because we were so feverish with digging with the promise of potential items, mm. but um, they didn't really materialize. Some did but it was still a fantastic opportunity that they gave us. Yeah, we had, we had a belting time, really. Yeah, it was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> now, the items over here are all from a recent mudlark where we trotted out into the mud in some of our normal favorite places. And we hadn't been out there for a while, and my goodness me, the mud rewarded us with some absolute beauties. It really did, I mean, Beltstein, Central, I'd say. Well, hmm. can we say Beltstein Central? Um, Beltstein, nearly central. A few real standouts, and for me in particular, it is this this one here. And we actually found out a little bit more about it thanks to the wonderful Jane of My Ordinary Treasure. I said it in the video at the time. I wanted to reach out to her immediately and show her this bottle. It's a gorgeous snuff or tobacco bottle. Really? It is indeed. Okay. It is indeed. And the age, I can't entirely remember. I think it was either early 1800s or very late, mid, seven, mid late 1700s. I can remember. Tell me. 1780. Hey, come on. Yes, it's actually pontilled on the bottom. Mm. So hand blown, pontilled. Uh, yeah, it's as old as the onion bottle. Oh, it's of. amazing. It's, it's amazing. I'm so happy with it. I've also got a really itchy eye. Hay fever. Okay. <laughs> Better? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, shout out to Jane for helping us identify. And um, yeah, that's one of my favourite finds for a really long time, actually. Yeah, I think it's stunning. Very different. Um, mm. At first, I was kind of, I don't know, I wasn't so excited about it. And the more we looked at it, Yes, it, it uh, was something really quite special, quite different too. Mm, definitely. Yeah, and... Uh, we yes. have to talk about the parts. Everyone's yes. waiting on the parts. Yes, the, the chalice that <laughs> appeared out in the mud that, I don't know, I didn't want to get my hopes too up too high. Um, I could, well, when we cleaned it up, we could see a slight glaze inside, which is never a good sign if you're thinking of uh, discovering a Roman pot, or thinking that you've discovered a Roman pot. Um, so, it's not Roman, that's the... But, but it's still really exciting, it's still really old. Yes, it's uh, post-medieval, possibly uh, some kind of a crucible for um, used in smelting metal, we think. Mm. Well, in fact, that's what Richard Henry of Thames Pottery, uh, uh, the pottery doctor, has suggested for this little item. Mm. So still very exciting and very different. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm. And that ages it what? It's around 16th, 16th century, 17th century? I think more like 18th century. Okay, it's still old. I'm <laughs> happy with that. <laughs> I think anything that's um, pre-19th century is a good good thing. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, solid. And then moving over this side further, mm. any other items that stand out to you? I'm quite happy, obviously, with big pouring ink and how the cut downs have turned out. I think they've turned out really good. Like this, 
It's going to make a beautiful vase. We've made another one like that before. Dad mm -hmm. has worked his magic on cutting and sanding. Um, so yeah, I think the cut down is really nice. It's always it's always lovely to repurpose ye old ye old belters, especially this one. Yes, that one's really really nice with all that writing, uh, that uh, transfer print mm. on the front there. I think this pouring ink is quite unusual. The mm. fact that it's uh, has the name of the company, the famous ink company Field mm. of London on the front. Uh, shame this flagon isn't quite complete because it's just missing its little handle. Yeah. Um, and the mystery item. <laughs> the UFO. It is. UFO-ish. Yeah. If anyone can identify, let us know. We want to know what it is. Yeah, someone out there, I'm sure, does know what it is. Um, it's a, when you hold it up to the light, it's a very deep, deep kind of ruby red colour. Mm, um, purpley. Uh, it's quite crude. Um, and more than that, we don't really know. Mm. So, yeah, so how any suggestions <laughs> for the mystery item, please let us know. Mm. One thing as well worth mentioning, no, I did not find this torpedo because I know a lot of people might be spotting the torpedo and thinking, oh my, has Josie finally done it? No, I haven't finally done it. That was a lovely gift from the site owner that he dug out. Um, so yeah, the search still continues for the elusive torpedo. Oh, and the pot lid. Yeah, yeah, the pot lid. Did you find the pot lid? We did find the pot lid, and it's a phenomenal pot yeah, lid. Yeah, it's a phenomenal pot lid. So, I know. Yeah. That was worth the drive, after all. Yeah, it was. It was. And the, yeah, it was worth the drive and the dig. Yeah. The workout for oh, that, dude. Oh, my dig. goodness. Yeah, it's a, it's a super duper pot lid. Mm. Mm. Well, squad, do let us know what your favourite of our finds was today. And do you prefer digging? videos or do you prefer muddy squelchy videos we always love to do a little mix but it's good to hear your feedback we have been very very busy recently i've been racing and cycling a lot dad has been working a lot <laughs> <laughs> but we've both got time off work very soon and we'll be able to smash loads of adventures out and i'm really excited about that Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometime. I'm really looking forward it's to it. It's so nearly here. Yeah. And I think just the quantity and kind of the super special items that we managed to pluck from um, the mud this last week show us that there's such a lot out there, isn't there? Yeah. Waiting to be discovered. Waiting to be harvested. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, remember to like the video, comment letting us know what you thought. And of course, click subscribe to stay updated. We've got an Etsy store, which obviously has a massive restock on it. Mm. Loads of the bits that you see in front of us. So do check that out. That's the first link in the description to the video. And yes, we hope you're having a lovely day, evening, morning. Whatever. Yes, whatever. <laughs> That's about it. So I think it is time to say goodbye for now from the Mud Pies. Bye! Bye.